Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at something near and dear to my heart. This is uh, CoverGirl and the Wolverine tank. She came out early on in the line and uh, I believe is the only female in the line that came with a vehicle. And uh, when I got her, I was, uh, I fell in love. I can't, I can't help but say it, but uh, yeah, my, uh, my little 10 year old self couldn't help but fall in love with this hottie. Of course, she was a former supermodel, uh, turned tank driver. And uh, I mean, just look at all the features on her, all the details. She's uh Got a nice little bomber jacket going on. Low cut top. She's got some uh some computerized something here on the side. A little holster. And uh she be looking good. She be looking fine. <laughs> but what's awesome about her is she's uh not just all cutesy, but She's a freaking tank driver. Um, they gave her a missile tank, which is super cool and and one of my favorite vehicles in the whole the whole line. Um, of course, she's got the little uh, unit badge here, with the Wolverine on it, and uh, yeah, it's an amazing figure, amazing sculpt. I really, really dig her, and uh, even more so, I really dig her tank. We got the Wolverine here, and uh, the missile tank, or MMS, mobile missile system, and uh, she's got a loadout of 12 of these rockets here. And, uh, yeah, they're just really cool, man. Um, I had a lot of fun with this, this vehicle as a kid. Um, a lot of play value. I love how it has the articulation in the, uh, missile pods. They, uh, elevate and depress and rotate all the way around. And they elevate up 90 degrees, maybe just a little bit more. And uh, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> uh, of course, tons of sculpting. On the top here, we've got a tool case, an aid kit. Uh, we've got bars for the tow cables. We've got molded on sledgehammers and shovel and uh, of course the spot for the tow cable which obviously I'm missing because everybody is missing it uh, you know if, if you've ever owned one of these or you're a collector you know that the tow cables infamously broke um, and uh, you can 3d print replicas but it's just not the same you know um, and it doesn't hurt to not have it. I mean, I used it quite a bit as a kid, but, uh, honestly, it's not a huge deal not having it. Uh, it wasn't the main feature of the tank, of course. Um, the main feature was being able to shoot things out of the sky and, uh, you know, whatever you wanted to do with these rockets here. And of course, we have a engine hatch here. With some packs on it and everything and this just pops open and we got some great engine detail in here and uh of course she's a tank mechanic as well so you know you can hand her a wrench and she can uh bend right on over in there and and uh turn some wrenches and get it going on you know but uh it's a really great great toy um molded treads uh, of course, it's got the fake wheels on the bottom, but that's cool. 
um, I never needed them to, uh, to really roll, you know, um, it just looks amazing, uh, they did a really good job, it, you know, the bogeys are, uh, offset a little bit, and the treads, you know, look like they're actually in motion, and, and, you know, really sitting on there, and, uh, yeah, overall, this is an amazing, amazing vehicle, um, the designers really went all out with this, and, uh, and I had tons of fun with it as a kid, um, uh, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, she always drives this in mine, you know, some vehicles you sub out other characters and stuff, but, um, the Wolverine's just not the Wolverine without CoverGirl, in my opinion, and, uh, it just looks so good up in it, chilling, and, uh, yeah and in my opinion i this she is my favorite uh female character in the whole line um i may disappoint some people who are you know scarlet or baroness fans or whatever but uh i always had a thing for cover girl and i still do i think she's awesome and uh sits right in there looks awesome just cruising along you know see some see some rattlers in the sky trouble bubbles she can just uh knock them out you know i believe these were designed to be uh ground to ground missiles but you know as a kid you uh you just use your imagination on it you know and you could just about shoot anything with them and uh yeah, they're great, man. And, of course, they're not spring-loaded, so you don't have to worry about shooting them across the living room floor and losing them. Um, <laughs> and uh, they're a little bit rubbery, so you didn't have to worry about breaking them in half um, if you stepped on them or anything like that as a kid. And uh, they don't hurt quite as bad as stepping on a Lego either since they're a softer, <laughs> a softer plastic. But, uh, yeah. Um, again, one of my favorite vehicles growing up, uh, still one of my favorite vehicles of all time. Um, mine's a little dusty and crusty. I like to go out in the backyard and play with it all the time. So, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely had some miles put on it, but, uh, but that's okay. You know, we likes to get down and dirty with our toys and, uh, ain't no shame in that. <laughs> so uh, what do you guys think of the Wolverine uh, I say uh, top shelf figure and vehicle absolutely 100% um, but uh, let me know what you guys think um, did you have a Wolverine as a kid do you have one now uh, do you not have one and want one um, did you not know they existed until now uh let me know down in the comments and and uh tell us your story your wolverine adventures um yeah fantastic vehicle i absolutely love it absolutely i uh hope you guys enjoyed today's review and uh and we'll see you next time you guys have a great day all right.